Hey guys. <clears throat> no chat going. How's everybody doing? Good Trevor, good day today. And now we've got a four day weekend for me because I don't trade Fridays and Mondays off. So really, really happy. How's everybody else doing? Hey, Matty, I'm making money, aren't we, Matt? <laughs> Had some great trades today. I'm going to go through. We've got this today's theme is roller coaster, and uh, played two roller coasters today pretty bloody well. So we're going to go through those uh, to begin with. Yeah. I know Matty was in one of them, he's in my inner circle. I think Jeff as well uh, is in here. Um, yeah, we all traded HG this morning. So I'm just gonna go and wait just a little longer until, uh, you know, a couple more minutes so we can get going. Just in case we get a few more stragglers coming in. So today, remember, is all about roller coaster. The roller coaster of life. Matty, that short's still on. If it comes back down, keep an eye on Apple. We rejected the highs. Apple's back round about 317.50. Uh, okay, guys, just about ready to get going. I did start a little couple of minutes early. But just wait. Just don't want to make sure. Everybody get some good shorts in today. They were there. They presented themselves. You just have to trade them. Okay. Uh, yes, we're in lockdown, Trevor, but we're in phase one of release, if you like. So we're allowed to go out um, as long as we wear a mask when we're out of the car, in a building, or anything like that. Uh, restaurants are open if, uh, only on the terraces sitting outside at 40% capacity, um, that sort of thing. So, yeah, slowly getting back. We've got two weeks of that just to make sure everything's okay and everybody's behaving. Uh, and then we get, you know, we get going. Sorry, guys. <laughs> hey Gary, Gary's one of my inner circle as well. <laughs> we only stopped a couple of hours ago. Well, no, an hour and a half ago, sorry. Yeah, went for a swim, bit of a sunbathe. And now we're doing this because the, the majority of the moves were this morning. Okay, so let's get going. So roller coaster, remember the roller coaster is a combination of the uh, stochastic MACD cross and also our points of control. So we had a great signal on HG this morning, which we traded guys. I only traded one contract. Uh, again, this third wave we traded today, Simon, with our roller coaster. And this is, what, this is what I'm showing you today. So it's not just the fifth wave. We do have another roll, another indicator suite called the roller coaster, and it gets in on these third wave moves. Now, if you are of any concern, and I always show you these, 
This is the trade today on one contract short on HD, $512.50, one contract. I know one of my inner circle traded two contracts on that. And this was the move down here. We're going to talk about that. Live, Paul Bratby, $512.50 today. Matt did trade it as well. He's in the inner circle. I think Gary did as well. Uh, so this was a real trade. It happened today. We traded it. So let's talk through the setup for this first. So we have the pre-market session here starting at 14.30 my time, okay? And we're going range bound, okay? And then just after the open, open is here, 15.30, okay? Let's just draw these lines on so we can see them easier, okay? And we'll go through this. Um, oops. Okay, so pre-market starts here, 14.30, okay? 15.30 is the open. We then get on the close of this candle here, just after the open, we get the signal. So let's just delete, clear all drawings. So this is the signal here. Uh, it is, uh, yeah, cancellated. It's infinity futures, really simple to trade, really, really simple to trade. So we're range bound during the pre-market. We get this signal just after the open to go short on HG, roller coaster short. We look at the risk to reward. We look where the, we look left, remember, where's the next real support level? This is the overnight low here. Okay. So, you know, one of the things you do, you want to draw that in and see what is your risk to reward from stop to entry to there, about one to one. That's not bad for a roller coaster. Okay. As you can see, before we got even got to this overnight low, we were printing the trailing stop positions on this three minute roller coaster. And all we were doing was adjusting the stop as and when it printed a new trailing stop. So every time a candle closed, we adjusted the trailing stop. In this case, every three minutes. And people say, how do you get on those third waves? This is how you do it. Okay, third waves are the biggest impulse move. They're very difficult to spot, but in 80% of the cases, we get the roller coaster setup or the stochastic MACD cross, the three points of control and our entry actually get, gets us in those third ways. And they are big impulse moves. And I always say, you've got to look for a runner. And this was one of the runners for today. Very, very simple setup. It prints the stop, prints the entry. It was on the three minute roller coaster, but obviously we've had other ones since then. Uh, but when you look on the uh, roller coaster, smart list that gives the signals out when we look at hg 81 percent win rate okay there's an 80 this is live it's updated the cc cln we've just changed and co changed contracts so that's got to start to gather data again for this particular contract but hgn 81 percent win rate on the three minute time frame okay you've got to go for it when it sets it up you've got to go for it and that is on the smart list for roller coaster which is available a subscription on the website again very simple you cannot be in all places at the same time uh, you can't be looking at all the charts at the same time so to have that smart list to tell you when there is a roller coaster signal setting up very 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 important there okay so now uh, that was HG. Any questions on that? Very simple setup. We were quite rangy in that pre-market session. The entry was below this pivot here. So let's just look at this as, as a double top. Okay, most people know what a double top strategy trading is. So let's just go through there. There's one top, there's two top, there's the pivot. Okay, when you get a double top, you go short below the pivot. Where is our entry? Below the pivot. Loads of risk to reward down the bottom. There's nothing to say to me, do not go in this trade. So you just go in it. 
Uh, no roller coaster, up to 60 minutes as well. I'm going to show you 60 minute trades. Uh, so roller coaster on uh, futures goes up to 60 minutes, man run, okay? On the stocks, we go up to the daily time frame. Okay, so that was the HG trade. Let's go to 6E, traded this again today. $262, one contract. It's only $6.25 per tick. Okay, who's good at maths? I'll tell you what, let's just do, let's, uh, let's work it out, okay? $262.50 divided by 6.25, 42 ticks, okay? 42 ticks today on 6E short. Go the five minutes, okay? So, very simple again. We've got a stop above the entry. Again, pre-market session here, we get in before the market opens at this point here. This was in after the, tra after the trade would open because this is something that we needed to push through. Yes, you got that 6C today. Gary's part of me in the circle as well, he got that one. And hopefully you should be in the ES short now as well. I know you are, Matt. Um, so again, very, very simple. This, this support and resistance zone I put in after we triggered, okay? Let me just take it off a minute and explain why. Okay, so this is the European much time. We get a big move up to one of my support and resistance zones, okay? This is not freaky stuff. I've spent a lot of years pulling these on charts, so they are pretty sticky. We then start to come down, we get a signal to go short in and around this short term resistance level. But for me, I'm looking at that London opening range as my target initially. Okay, there she goes. She's going back down, guys. That's good. Yeah, Apple's back below $317. ES is going to have another run down now. Uh, so, very simple, risk reward to this opening range for London, one to one, stops printed here. We do pull up a little bit into the open of the uh, US session, then we pull down again, and then part of my job, if you like, when I'm trading, is to figure out where we've got to push through. And I'm always saying, when you're looking at HG and 60, you're looking at those dollar charts as well. Is the dollar rising strong? Yes, it is. So we've got to push through this uh, short-term support resistance. So once it does, you see these start to print, the trailing stops, that's how we trail then, as you see, just tipped us out just here recently. So very, very simple. Uh, there's not, the, the thought process that goes behind this is purely to do with what looking left and looking at your support and resistance zones. Have you got enough fresh air for this long or short trade on the roller coaster to take effect. If you've got a good risk to reward, you look at uh, 6E on the five minute. What's the win rate? 6E, 89%. Okay, so 6E on this five minute on the roller coaster. So not just is this giving us signals, okay, on the smart list. It's given us the win rate. And right now, for this current contract, it's got an 89% win rate, okay? When you've got some fresh air, you've got a great win rate there, you've got to go for it because you've got to be in it to win it, okay? Right. Let's go to ES. Guys, I can't stress enough. I hope you are all members of the 5K Club because it's $60 a year. And these zones that I give you are very, very sticky. I'm not blowing my own trumpet. I've been doing this shit for a long time, okay? This, 
came up to test after the open. It failed. It moved down, held at my neck support and resistance zones. These zones are in a spreadsheet every week, okay? Then we've pulled back on a wave four, and then we've gone short. We're just keeping an eye on Apple now because that's bounced. Um, but, you know, the, these are really, really good. No, you don't get it. It's a separate membership. When you bought the roller coaster, it's a separate membership because we pay a lot for data. Uh, so the membership on the website, should we do, where we go? So I'll just go to the website here. Okay, so on smart lists, uh, you'll go roller coaster and the futures. Okay, it's 199 a month, but two signals today off the smart list What's that, $770 today? It's $199 a month, guys, okay? There's signals every day. You only need two good signals a week and you've more than paid for it. It's about getting that return on investment for that, uh, you know, for that cost for your trading business. Is this worth now to you $199 a month if you've won in some cases, over a thousand dollars today on two trades, two signals. You've got to ask that question. So when you are building your trading business, there are going to be costs like any traditional business. And this, you know, you've got the roller coaster for your charts, brilliant. But unless you've got twenty screens on multiple different time frames, you can't spot all of the entries. So you get the smart list, okay? The smart list is simple, it's $199 a month, but it gives you signals on the one, the two, the three, the five, the 15, the 30, the 60 minute. So what you do, you pop it out. You can turn it dark, you turn it to 15 minute, for example, turn it dark here, and you move it around your screen and open up all the other ones as well. Okay, very, very simple. For me, I use, so I'll bring them down, one, two, three, five on the roller coaster, and then the five and the three on the bits, okay? So one, two, three, and five minutes. I use them for day trading futures, and that's it. Okay, and look, I mean, some of these, 6C on the three minute, 90% win rate, okay? You can get rid of that 10% if you look for that support and resistance. So let's move all those back up, out of the way. They're on the screen just up above, the audio alerts. So you hear the ding-dings, that means there's an alert, so you go and have a look what's and then there's a little um, lightning flash next to it, if you like. Uh, so you see what it is, what time frame it is, and you go and have a look at the chart, okay? Because you cannot look at all the charts at the same time. So what I want to do now is go to NG. It's in the membership area. Nilesh, and you get emails sent out two or three times before we go live, plus also um, in the 5K Club itself. Again, you've got to log into the website. Sorry, wrong one. You go to the 5K Club. And at the top here, it will say when your when the next session is, okay? And you click on the link and you join and you join it. Okay. Are we on NG? We're on NG. So we have found on natural gas, the 60 minute time frame on the roller coaster is red hot, guys, red hot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back 90 days, three months. 
Oh. So the win rate is calculated, for example, on this one here, as soon as we start to print trailing stops, that's a winner, okay? It's a loser if it doesn't print the trailing stops and takes out the stop, Andres, okay? So really, really simple. As soon as it starts printing the trailing stops, that trade is a winner because you're locking in profit, okay? That's a win. It's a loss if it doesn't print those and it comes back and takes out the stop loss, yeah? So, this is the 60 minute on NG. The way I look for uh, win rates, and basically when I say looking for the groove, okay, uh, I look for the groove by looking at where I'm printing those trailing stops. Let's just close that a second. So, let's move through uh, beginning of March okay I could go back a long, lot further right so when I'm looking to see what's in the groove I'm looking at the, the this, this is the 60 minute on natural gas okay so beginning of March we've got a winner how's it a winner we've got trading stops we're locking in profit okay this one didn't trigger, neither did this long, okay? It stayed within the range. Then we get a long winner, short winner, okay? Long winner, only just, but it's still a winner, short winner. Long didn't trigger, long triggered loser, one loser, okay? Long winner, short loser, two losers out of all of those winners, winner. Winner, 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 chicken dinner, winner, winner, winner. So as you can see, the, uh, the, the 60 minute on natural gas, two losers out of about 20 trades over the last three months. You enter on the green line, green means go. So let's go back to one of the trades today. Let's go to HG. Sorry guys, hang on. HG from three minutes. So this candle, let's go, let's go big so you can understand what happens. So this candle closes. You see, let's clear that again. This candle closes with a red arrow pointing down for a short and the green line prints here. That is the entry, the green line. So when that closes, you put your order on. At the same time, if you are not even on HG and you're looking at ES, the bit, the, the roller coaster smart list goes ding, 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 and it's got a lightning flash and it tells you that short entry, it tells you the stop loss, okay? So then you put your short order on for this price, 24519, okay? It didn't take it in the next candle, just took us in there and then it started to go. Once it starts printing the trailing stops, then that's when you take your, when you go in, when you enter this trade here, that's where your stop loss is at the top here, okay? 2462. Once you're in the trade and it starts to print these trailing stops, that's when you adjust your stop on your broker 
down each time the candle closes. So you're locking in profit. So if it comes back up against you, it takes a trading stop out and gives you your profit. Yeah, these little red dot lines are your trailing stop position. They're not all line. If you go, if you're on trading view, it's just a, a smooth line. They're not uh, cross hatch lines. But if you're on think or swim, the cross hatch lines. So these these little red lines are the trading stop position. So every time a candle closes, that stays fixed, and that's your trading stop position. Okay. I don't know if there's a trade that's open right now that we could see that maybe on a one minute. Let's go on the one minute. Let me clear those drawings. Clear all the links. What works well? Gold, I think, on one minute. Uh, we're not in a trade on that at the moment, by the looks of it. No, there's no trading stop being printed there at the moment. There's no, no trade. Works for four times two. YM. Okay, YM. What time frame, Matty? Three minutes. Okay, good spot. You still in that ES short? Uh, Apple's just come up back above three seventeen fifty, so be aware. So here we go. We have the ding dings are coming on. I'm getting an ES short on one minute. I'm getting an ES short on one minute. I'm getting a YM short on one minute as well. Let's have a look at that one. Ah, it's gone. Didn't print. So, for example, this is a three minute on YM. We did have a signal uh, on this candle closing, and then it took us in on the following candle. You've got sometimes you've got to be quick on, on these. Now, do we take this trade? The stop is just above this pivot here. It's a sensible looking trade. For me right now, though, I always look at Apple, see what ES is doing as well. Um, you know, we got reasonable risk to reward down to this previous pivot. Looks okay. YM on the three minute, it's got an 84% win rate. Okay, 84% win rate there, YM. We've already had one winning trade today short. It's took us out the stop. We've got a, a, a um, pivot here at a previous support zone. That's a sensible place for that pullback to finish. And now we've, we've come back down again and we are looking uh, for, that, for that short on YM. Um, but once this starts to move down, it will start to print the trading stop once the conditions are right. Right now, we're in a slight loss making position. Yes, 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 but not triggered. Ah, okay. So there's the yes. Uh, you'd have to bear with me. I'm trialing some new day trading support resistance zones. It makes the chart go all funny for a little while. Uh, so what we have at the moment is a potential short on ES uh, with this roller coaster coming through two nine. 4350. Okay. It's actually telling me 75 on there, but I, I would probably go for a 50. Okay, so there, ES, three minute. This is the three minute. Three minutes. ES short's got an 85% win rate, 294375. Stop 295550. Okay. Looks pretty good. Coming down, I know we're you know we're already in this short, uh, by the way, um, but 
That's not a bad entry. What's the risk reward though, down to this support zone? To measure the risk reward, FIB extensions, okay? We go to the stop, we click once. We go to the entry, we click the second time, then click a third time. So we are one to 0 0.75 to those recent lows in my support zone. Not a great deal of risk to reward there. Not the sort of trade I'd take. I've already traded some great trades today. Too late in the day for me anyway. Uh, 199 a month. So it's on. Um, okay, let me just log out so I can get you the proper link. It is, uh, you go to the smart list page. You go to roller coaster, which is already highlighted, and then the roller coaster futures smart list. So I'll put the link in the chat. Okay. Again, one day, I've had loads of signals, only took two 800 and odd books, yeah, just for one contract. Only 200 books a month. Yeah, the roller coaster subscription is for the indicator suite on your charting platform. The smart list subscription is for trading signals for roller coaster. You cannot physically look at all the charts and all the different time frames for futures okay so what you have is all of the futures that are tradable with this type of strategy on one list but moreover you can add them on different time frames so you can get the entries you can see what the win rate is okay one minute two minute three minute five fifteen twenty uh, thirty and, and sixty Okay, so once you've got those on, there's the ding dings. Okay, we've got some more potential trades coming up. Because I, I've been doing this for 16, 17 years. You cannot look at all the charts all the time. You need something to give you a warning that there is a trade. Okay. And it's not just for, where are we? It's not just for um, futures. This works on stocks as well. So this is a short I'm in on triple D at the moment, okay? Roller coaster entry was here. Okay, the stops up here. We had a nice move into this. And then we've had the, the big jump the other day, but then we are holding pattern. We're looking for another move down right now. This is off the daily time frame for uh, Triple D there, but looking pretty good. Here, here we go. Apple's back below. Okay. Apple's back below 317.50. This is going to come back down and test this level, guys. Shall we have a little play? Just have a little play with one contract to show you this dome works. So we want a 294.350. 294.350. So I want to go short, one contract, 294.350. Click on the red bit for down, okay? Uh, and then obviously once the stock goes in, 295575 would be the stop. Okay, that's it. Uh, that's how the dome works. Once it enters the trigger, once it enters the trade, um, you can, uh, YM on the short is now 20 ticks that we talked about earlier on the roller coaster, 20 ticks now on profit. Um, what happens is once you enter this trade, you can play stops, training stops very, very simply. So I'm just going to play with this one. Let's see what it does. I don't, I wouldn't usually trade this because there's not a great risk reward and my inner circle is in this on a big contract. 
on a wave four coming, uh, on the fifth wave coming down on the five minute here. We're already in, uh, coming down from this wave four pullback, coming down to look for new lows. Um, but, you know, this is the wave three, uh, sorry, this is the um, roller coaster here on the three minute that we're looking at right now. Apple really needs to get back down through that um, 317.50. Getting some bit signals again, that's micro 6E long on the five minute, getting gold shorts on the two minutes. What's gold doing? Apple just rejected the lows again there. Ooh, cancel that one. Apple just took a massive spike up there. Huge. Gold, 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 gold. I think gold shorts on the two and the three minute on the roller coaster. Oh, it's had a wave four pullback as well. Oh, that looks very inviting. What does it look like on the uh, five minute? Got a pivot there just here. We've got a great risk reward. The only problem is we've got a 2320 entry, 10 ticks down. Oh no, 20, yeah, about eight ticks down. We've got some big support there. That's the only issue with that trade. Plus, also, we just had a big move up on the S right now because Apple. Is pulling back, it's back above $318. No, I'm not, George, just the, just the main ones. Um, you know, NG, HG, and the others are, are really just for my inner circle because, um, you know, I'm just giving you the main ones. Um, all the other ones, the work that I do, I do on a daily basis with everybody. You've got, the, you've got the indexes, you've got the gold, you've got the main um, currency pair, you know, the currencies, That's you've got 6E, 6B, and everything you need to trade, okay? The, the list is too exhaustive. I'd spend all my week putting zones in for, for every single one. Yeah, the ladder is basically, um, well, I call it a dome. So on the 6E dome today, um, you know, the dome is here. So basically you can, how many contracts you want to put on, and then you just click on here to go long or short, basically. Uh, you want to go short, you put one contract, you click on the, the price, you want to go short, goes through there, takes you in. And then as it, if it goes below, uh, for example, it's all the way down here, you can go risk-free and put your trading stop there, for example. That simple, really, really quick. So again, we've got to look, wave four pullback. It looks pretty good. We've got a short entry here. In reality, we're only eight ticks into this before we it hit support. So it's not a great trade right now, especially as the dollar's going back down. But we could be looking on a higher time frame if you're on the five minutes. If we do get a signal here and the signal's below that pivot, then we'd be interested on that one right now. Again, it's a little bit late in the day for me to trade. Uh, made my money today. I don't want to give it away.
Anybody got any other questions on the roller coaster? It's not difficult, guys. All the stuff's done. Or, you know, I have to, I, in the past I had to do this all manually. I need the stochastic, I need the MACD, I need the points of control, I had to make sure everything's right. I had no smart list scanner. You know, it was so difficult for me in the olden days. Now I've developed it into a software that puts on your chart. Also, I've got a really clever guy that gives you the signals on all of these on lots of different time frames and measures the win rate as well. Okay, I had I never had any of this. Okay, this makes uh, trading this strategy uh, so much easier right now. But, you know, a lot, a lot easier. Means it's a short, Trevor. <laughs> Sorry, didn't want to be sarcastic. Uh, uh, the red arrow means it's a short. Okay. If there was a green arrow, it would be underneath and it would be a long. So the red arrow is just to say that we printed the entry. That's it. Nothing else. And green means up. Green arrow means up. Something I'll tell you now, guys, this is Apple on the five minute. You look at ES on the five minute, it looked pretty much the same. So right now, today, we've had a wave three, we've had a wave four pullback. It's found resistance at this, this previous resistance zone. We need this now to push down for our ES short, okay? Really, really this is critical phase today. We need this apple to come back down, okay? So it's not just the US dollar I'm looking at. I'm looking at some of the major stocks that moves markets. Apple moves ES. Apple kept ES up yesterday, which kept everything else up. If that can tumble, we'll all tumble. Okay, I only cancel a trade setup. Well, let me just reattach that a minute. Okay, so let me just go back to HG today and show the example. So I don't, I only cancel the order on very rare occasions. And the occasion would be if I place the order here and it didn't trigger and then went up to take out the stop, I would cancel the sell order. Federico, okay? Once it's in, you're in it to win it or lose it, okay? Once it's in, you've got to ride that roller coaster. Then when it starts printing these trading stops, these little red lines, you start adjusting your trading stop position down, okay? It's, it's pretty simple. Um, you know, all the stuff's worked out in the background for you. There's no thinking. The only thinking you've got to do is work out where your support and resistance zones are. What is your risk to reward? Look, and then when you get these on here, on the, for example, on the three minute now, we've just had a 6A long. Yeah, 83% win rate. So let's have a look at 6A on the three minutes. But look at your win rates. Just got to, to be honest, now Europe's closed, so the, uh, vol the, vol the volatility on some of these uh, can be quite small on these um, types of things. But let's have a look at this three minute. It's got a really great win rate, an 85% win rate on 6A. We've had found great support after moving down today. This is just triggered, it's just gone in. Where's the next resistance level up here on this previous wave four? But not only that, there, it was a previous pivot point here as well on the left. This is a strong zone, okay? So when I'm looking at this zone here, I'm looking at my 
risk reward. So I'm going to click, use my fib extension, stop, one click, entry, second click, then third click. So when I'm looking at this, I know recently we've had a nice roller coaster short. We've found great support down here. Doesn't seem to want to move down anymore right now. Okay, so let's have a look. Where's the next resistance zone? I've looked left. Okay, this is where my target should be. It could go through right now. Have I got enough room, fresh air above there for this trade? I've got a one to 1.3 in the middle of that zone. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's a good risk to reward. You know, you, you got to go for it. The, this entry is just below, just above this pivot here. Uh, pretty much looks okay. I'm looking on my 6A, 83% win rate. Got to go. The thing is, if you're risking the same amount each time for each trade, and you've got an 83% win rate, follow them, and you will always be in profit. Yes, you will be in some losers, but if you're risking the same amount, if you're risking $200 per trade and you've got an 83% win rate, you're going to win money. Yeah? It's, it's basic math. Yeah? If you've got a 60% win rate, and you're risking the same money on every single trade, you'll still be profitable. 90% win rate. Natural gas on the five minute, 95% win rate. Every time one of those comes up on the five minutes, you risk $200, you're going to be good. Yeah. Uh, email me uh, right now we know the back testing works why because we've got an AI telling us the win rate Jake okay so we, we spent a lot of money on an AI to tell us this win rate so we know it's a good win rate and right now he's working on some uh, I don't think it, it, he wouldn't be able to, he wouldn't have any time right now because he's working on some, some, a lot of stuff for me right now, which includes things like, if I can find any right now, uh, did I see any? Oh, yes. He's working on harmonic patterns and things like that for me. Uh, so, um, for example, here on the three minute on the S, I've got a bat pattern forming, okay? And this is telling me now, uh, if, if, it, if it completes the bat pattern in this uh, resistance zone, I'd be looking for a short on the S, okay? So and it's bats, butterflies, um, you know, quite a lot. So it, it's got a lot of work on right now, and we already got a back testing facility with an AI telling us win rates. Okay, yeah, I, I know, I, I understand, but I've only got so many staff, and I've I've just loaded up them, you know, loaded up work with them until after the summer, um, because this is pretty hot stuff. This this type of um, harmonic patterns. I don't know whether you've traded harmonics before, but it is pretty cool stuff. MGC three minute. Yeah, fifth wave down, already triggered this one. So does that, does, does that mean the GC is triggered as well? It did. It did reject for now. Look at, look, look at that. Version three of what's JT? 
If you've got version three of the Elliott Wave, that's the latest version. There's no new versions. If you want to get the roller coaster, it's a totally separate um, piece of software. And the roller coaster, if we go to trading software, okay, I'll put the link in the chat. And then you look for roller coaster here, select platform, select your platform for the roller coaster. For example, think of swim. And this is the roller coaster here. And subscribe now, and you can go ahead and get the roller coaster. Very, very simple. Max, when we, if you are a subscriber to a specific indicator suite, you are on our list. So when we do an update, you get emailed the update. On TradingView, for example, it doesn't matter because we update the existing code and you're updated straight away. So when we have a new version, everybody that's on the list that is a subscriber gets emailed the new version. Uh, in some cases, we automatically update it anyway, um, things like that. I only use the oscillator and stochastic for uh, a wave. Yeah. So in this case here, we've got a wave four. It's pulled back. It's hit the green zone. The 535 is good. Just take no notice of this. This is still in trial and it's not working properly, but that's between 90 and 140. And what I do on the chart above, I check on the uh, stochastic here that it's crossed over in the overbought zone. Yeah, good, good. Tick in a box, tick in a box, tick in a box. Okay, so we're good for a fifth wave short on gold here. Also, we've printed a roller coaster to help us with the entry. Yes, everything you've seen on the roller coaster, not the smart list. Everything you've seen on the chart with the roller coaster for, you know, the trading stops, everything else like that, it's all on there, JT, okay? Uh, the roller coaster suite comes complete, absolutely. No, the alerts, Jeff, come on the smart list, okay? Because we can't build alerts in to every single platform. We develop for seven platforms and everything, every bit of code is different. It's very, very difficult. So uh, what we do is we've decided to build an AI system that gives you alerts on multiple timeframes for the roller coaster on all of these um, different futures contracts. That's the easiest way to do it. It's not platform dependent then. Yeah, that's the 90 to 140. It's something we're trialing at the moment, but if, if you look, it's just not working properly because when it, when it goes back below, it starts to print again, okay? Uh, so it's not, it's not quite right, and we haven't got time to work on that right now. Um, so at the moment, it's just as it is. No problem, JT. Roller coaster is fantastic. Uh, I had a question about the inner circle. Uh, to be honest, Jake depends. Inner circle is all about uh, is trading stocks as well as futures. If you're just trading futures, um, you know, the account size. To be honest, even if you've got a ten grand account size, you can you can make. I don't know, Matty. What do you make a day? Um, you know. I don't know, three, four hundred dollars a day, something like that. Today we made eight hundred dollars. Um, you know, just email me, uh, Paul at 
tradethefifth.com. Oh. Yeah, 300 a day is realistic for smaller accounts because you don't want to take that much risk. And that's that's the that's the issue, and, and Uncle Paul will really remind you about risk risk free. So this week, for example, we've had two one hundred two hundred dollar days, three hundred dollar days, a break even day, and then today, uh, eight hundred dollar day. You know, you just got to be patient and wait. Okay. Yeah. So we also have a long term portfolio and swing trading stocks and everything like that. This is looking pretty good now, this Sean GC. You got ES coming back down. Yeah, ES is still coming down. Yeah, Matty, uh, Matty's in the inner circle. I think uh, we've got Gary here tonight as well. He's in my inner circle as well. Gary's. It's Gary's first week this week. He's made money and learned. What's Apple doing? Back below 318, but it's not pushing down very fast. Keep getting these rejections at this level here, okay? And why is that? This is why I'm working on these. Look at this. This is my crab pattern and it's finding support in this zone that it, this, this new bit of software is printing. Freaky or what? Okay, so the, the idea is if this holds and we start to come back up above, these are my fib levels to start to go long. Okay, so this, this, on my one minute chart is telling me this is why this support is holding. If it breaks through here, boom, okay? Um, we'll, uh, just go there. Okay. So right now, this entry on gold was 1723.20. We're at 1721.10, 21. 21 ticks already on gold. This is on the three minutes. It's not printed a trading stop just yet though. Remember this support zone is really holding right now. The low of that is around about 1720.3, okay? Look at, look at where this support zone is here, 1720.2. So that harmonic pattern is actually lining up with this previous pivot point. Like I said, if it breaks down below there, this thing's going to come and hit the fifth wave. We had an ugly looking wave for pullback. Good there. We're combining the roller coaster now. Again, we're at 21 ticks profit on this gold, $210 profit per thing. It's $200 to subscribe a month to that bloody smart list to tell you where these signals are. If this was the first day of the month and you're $200 in profit, take it. It's paid for the smart list for the rest of the month. Start earning money. Okay? It's not rocket science trading. You just need the right tools, but you also need to understand support and resistance zones. Okay? You need to look left. You need to understand what's going on. For me, I like Apple a lot when I'm trying to trade ES. Um, you know, I look at the dollar a lot when I'm trading 6E, the gold. Uh, HG, for example, all that sort of thing. So it shows correlations to understanding support and resistance. I know it's a lot to remember, but if you're a trader, you need the tools, you need the knowledge. Yeah, you've got. If you're doing this full time, you've got to you've got to go for it. You need to understand what's what what the behaviour is. Okay, brilliant, Andres. Thank you. Yes, George, it does happen really quick, the, these moves sometimes. Good trading.
Yeah, I mean, these are real time, Andres. You know, these, these go ding, 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 and they tell you there's a trade there. It tells you what the percentage win rate is. And again, don't forget, you can pop these out. Yeah, and you can change the time frame where you want to be, one minute, move them around. For me, my top screen is all uh, smart lists, okay? And if you can't make $200, I mean, yeah, okay? You've got a great win rate there on pr pretty much all of them. Uh, $200 a month is nothing. You should do that in your first trade and then you're profitable for the rest of the month. It's a trading, it's a business cost. What is your, you know, to be honest, it's a really cheap business cost. If you're a traditional business, $200 a month that gives you a return on $4,000 a month or whatever it is, is a great return on investment. So we should be printing a trailing stop here. I'm just hanging on guys, okay? We've, we've been an hour, but I'm just waiting for this to, to start tra printing that trailing stop so I can show you how you would manage using this. Remember, the signal came from our three minutes smart list, okay? GC short, 17.23.9, 86% win rate, stop, blah, 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 okay? There it is. We've also had a wave four pullback. We have got a little bit of support in here, so we're going to be a little bit ginger, but we've got a great risk reward down to the recent lows. We've just got to let it play out now. If you're happy with 20 ticks on gold quite quickly, you would have taken your profit and walked away. You know, there's a lot of reasons why people take profit. No, JT, the... the the smart list is just a subscription. It's a signal subscription. It's live signals, okay? It's nothing to do with your wave or anything like that. This is just a smart list. When you go onto the website, you go to smart lists, you go to roller coaster, which is clicked blue here. You click roller coaster future smart list and it's live signals, nothing to do with any way or anything like that. That's the signals. Obviously, if you want to get the indicator suite as well, they are there for that reason. By the way, guys, it's taken a long time, but I finally gave in and I've got my own website now. So if you want to learn a, a little bit more about me, paulbratby.com, uh, what I do, um, some pictures in there over the last few years, uh, whether it's myself and my wife flying to the USA, that's when we got married, that's my grandson, that's me touching the balls, uh, you know, there's my sons, that's me and I'm model that's me and some of the guys in houston we went to the um nasa uh, you know all sorts even me when i was in a basketball team when i was in the army 1986 look at that handsome young chap there on the left number 10 uh, so yeah it's got all about me it's got uh, some publications i've done <laughs> uh you know basically just I'm real, just a bit about me. This is one of the training events. Uh, this is me when I was in the army. I was a staff sergeant in this picture in a, in a paper clipping. So yeah, all about me, all that sort of thing. Just just a bit of a uh, bit of a bio there. Okay, guys, any more questions? Because I'm going to get going. It's 7:30 p.m. My dinner is ready. I've had a great trading day. Uh, made some good money, been for a swim, bit of a sunbathe, spent some time with you. Now the four-day weekend begins. Here comes back down. Yes, coming back down again. Thank you, guys. Look at this. Yes, this doesn't want to go up now. Doesn't want to go up, does it? Keep an eye on Apple though, still above 317.50. 
Thank you, guys. And I'll see you next week. Next week's webinar is combining the indicator suites. So whether it's combining the bits of the Elliott Wave or the roller coaster and the Elliott Wave, it's about using the trilogy to get the most out of your trades. Uh, a lot of the time I'll use bits to add, posi add to positions and things like that, for example. So, you know, it, it is there. It's great. Uh, so I'll see you next Thursday. Thank you very much, Nilesh. And I'll uh, have a great long weekend, everybody. Thank you, Andres. Let me stop.